Good evening. We're back with another episode of the Lord of the Rings LCG progression series. Playing solo as always, and tonight's quest is The Oath. This was a quest released as part of a two-player limited edition starter set after the Wilds of Rovanian expansion. It was also later released toward the end of the game's life cycle as part of a Dark of Mirkwood scenario pack but we're playing it using only cards available from the Wilds of Rovanian or earlier for this progression series. So I'm just playing uh, the same deck. Uh, I just actually recorded the video for the Withered Heath in which I was playing an Elrond deck with Grimbjorn. And so I'm playing the exact, exactly the same deck but without Grimbjorn and with Eowyn swapped in Tactics Eowyn. So, I don't know if these quests are difficult or not. We'll see. The hand, we got two copies of Vilia. I think I'll keep it though because Vilia is so important. We searched the encounter deck for one copy of the Eaves of Mirkwood and Goblin Troop is out of play. And that's all for the setup. For the first phase, I just need nine progress. Okay, well since this is a two-player starter deck quest, the possibility exists that this may not be a very difficult quest, but we'll see. Let's get started. So I'll go ahead and play Vilia for two and we'll just Vilia blindly and see what we get. Steward of Gondor. That's a good draw. It's going to go on Elrond. And I'll use it for two resources, and I'll go ahead and play Master of the Forge for two. I'll play Darren's Runes, draw two, discard one, use Master of the Forge, grab Light of Valinor, and I will play that as Elrond now has a spirit resource icon thanks to Vilya. So we'll go ahead and quest for seven. Two, one, two, three, four is three progress. We'll move to Forest Gate, draw two. And on to the next round. I will play Yorith. Get an additional two resources. Let's use Master of the Forge, see if we can find a unexpected courage. No, but I'll grab Raiment of War. That will go on Jubiar. Oh, I have an unexpected courage. Okay. I do want to play that on Elrond. For two. Then I'll go ahead and Vilia. And the card is. Eagles of the Misty Mountains. Can't play anything else. I think next round I'll probably play Fury, although. So let's just go ahead and quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, one, two, three, four, five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and move to the eaves of Mirkwood. And the Great Spider I will engage optionally. After it engages me, exhaust a character I control. We will have Elrond take the attack for three, no damage, and then Glorfindel can deal two in return. On to the next round. So I've got Raiment of War. That could go on Elrond, which would make him an excellent defender. We'll play, we'll use Master of the Forge. Grab the other Raiment of War. Let's go ahead and Vilia for Gildor. Get out Furiel. And I think I want to put a Raiment of War on 
Let's see, it could go on Glorfindel right now, but that's about it. So I'm going to have to save it for a warrior. I'd love to put it on Elrond, but I can't because he's not a warrior. Mm, Alright, well let's just quest with Fury all and see what the top card of the encounter deck is. It's doomed one and when revealed each player must either raise threat by one for each questing character or discard a questing character. I'll just go ahead and discard that with Fury all. So we're at three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Probably don't need that much. Let's go three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be fine. Eight progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we clear phase one. On to phase two. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a forest location and adds it to staging. You can't. The stage can't be defeated unless at least one copy of Goblin Trail is in the victory display. Well, I guess we want to look for Goblin Trail then. There it is. Travel. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck to travel here. Okay. Well, go ahead and travel there. Reveal the top card. It's a Goblin Runner which has Surge into Spider Den. The Goblin Runner will engage. Not fully set up defensively yet, but close enough. Attack will go on Elrond for three. That's no shadow effect, no damage. Attack can go on Gildor for three. No damage. I just need two there. And we'll get three there, which will kill the Goblin Runner. On to the next round. Unexpected Courage number two. Mm. Do I want Raymond of War on Glorfindel? It will buff his attack. Usually I like to use it for a defender. Jubiar would be great. Let's master the forge. Take Stuart out of the deck. And let's go ahead and Vilia for Maldra Stargazer. I'll use her. So what do we want to draw next round? We can draw Arwen. That seems fine. Then I'm gonna get a fresh shuffle after that because I'm looking for higher cost things for Vilia. Now, do I want to play Unexpected Courage or I could get out a Knight of the White Tower. No, I couldn't. It, resources have to come from one resource pool. What about a Raiment of War? Play that on Knight of the White Tower? Yeah, I think I'll save it for what Knight of the White Tower. It's pretty good on that ally. So, need a quest. Let's use Furiel. Do I want another unexpected courage out? Uh, no, I think I want to save the resources for our one. So let's use Furiel. X is the number of locations in the staging area. That's fine. So I'll have three, seven, eight, nine. I want to make at least 12 progress. Three, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 to 3, 7, 8, 9. 9 progress. And when Goblin Trail leaves play as an explored location, place 6 progress on the current quest. Which moves us into phase 3. Goblin Trail does go to the victory display. 
When revealed, the play first player adds a set-aside goblin troop to the staging area. Each player searches each other player. There are no other players. Goblin troop, 35 threat, so I don't have to do anything with it. I'll go ahead and move to Spider Den. And next round when I have a defender available, I'll engage Goblin Troop and use Aowen to take it out. Need six progress. The stage cannot be defeated while Goblin Troop is in play. When the stage is defeated, the heroes discover the trail to the Goblin, goblin Secret Lair, and the players win the game. Well, if that, that's all there is to this quest, then bringing a Elrond Vilya deck to it was overkill. But anyway, let's move on to the next round. Let's get a fresh shuffle. We'll take it seriously. There may be a boss in here or something. Let's play Knight of the White Tower for one, two, three, four. Well, after I play Song of Kings. For one there. Then I can play Knight of the White Tower for four. I can play Arwen for two. I can play Raiment of War on the Knight of the White Tower for two. Let's go ahead and quest with Furial or use the Maldra Stargazer. I shuffled after, yeah, I did shuffle, so let's look at the top five. Which of these do I want? None of them. I already have Furial. That's a bummer. So let's... I'm not going to Vilya anything. Let's do that. Now, quest with Furial. Take a look. It's a Goblin Sniper. Do I care? Eh, not really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 13, 19 would be my preference. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Move to the eaves of Mirkwood. And I'll optionally engage this enemy. He can attack the Knight of the White Tower. Arwen shields would go on the Knight of the White Tower. So it's at 5 attack. And choose and exhaust one character you control. Okay. No damage. And then already Eowyn using her once per game. And 3 threat. Buff her to 10 attack. And kill the Goblin Troop. And that will end the game, as the Goblin Troop is no longer in play and the stage has been defeated, so we have discovered the trail to the Goblin Secret Lair and won the game. I did a quick Google search of this quest after I finished it and discovered that it was... It's considered now to be suitable for beginning players, probably more so, well definitely more so, than Escape from Dol Guldur or journey along the Anduin for play after passage through Mirkwood. That makes sense to me, and I would agree with that. So, good one for our newer players. It's definitely winnable with core set cards only. So, thanks for watching.